Okay, I have an idea on something to do on the iPad today as a demonstration and just to have fun. So let me get out my ink first. So let's see, where's the ink? Ink right there. We use the syrup one. We'll make it black. And we're going to call this, um, let's see, flight delay. Flight delay. Look at that. Look at how that pen writes. Isn't that cool? Of course, this isn't really what I'm doing. This is a picture, but I just wanted to start with the title page. There we go. Flight delay. <laughs> there go. There's the airplane. The plane. How about that, huh? Does that look like a good plane? Yeah, sure. Why not? Good enough. So we're going to have a flight delay painting today. All right. So obviously that's not what I want to do. So let me get rid of that. Clear it. I don't know if I've ever shown you this before. You just go to the layer and clear it. You don't have to spend all the time erasing it. Um, I'll try my best to explain everything I'm doing along the way. So what I'm going to do today is I usually don't um, like to use uh, digital tricks, I guess, or digital tools. Today I'm going to do that though. Um, so first let's make the background something other than white. Um, well, rather than looking for a complementary color, let's just make it gray. Because what happened was, you know, we just had Hurricane Adalia come through Florida and the flights were delayed by a lot for a lot of people. So let's try to draw paint, create on the iPad a little, a little bit of a, what it might have looked like through the window for the, for the passengers who were stuck at the airport. I didn't go to the airport, so I don't really know. But So I'm going to use gouache, I think. So go to the painting. And we'll take gouache. And the reason I picked gouache is because you can sort of use it like watercolor. So let's get um, a very, very, very light blue and put it on top of this. Okay, so this is, so it's got like a gloomy day. This is a 21 by 27, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, canvas. Of course, it's a digital canvas, but still. Or paper, if you want, to, if you want to call it paper, you can do that. Okay, so we're going to sketch it in really, really loosely because I want it to be out of focus. I don't, I don't want this to be a very detailed picture. Um, so let me just take some of these darker, darker grays. So let's just put some vertical lines back here. Maybe those are smokestacks of some sort or some buildings just just put a few squares and a few different things in here that might not be necessarily recognizable as anything in particular and I'll just do this a few lines here um, just to indicate a few things in the background put some buildings small buildings just things that are in the airport in the distance and there's a, this it's raining out there and it's foggy a little bit or at least the windows of the airport are foggy so we don't want them to be too clear okay so you can see sort of that look that look right there make it a little bit couple of other darker colors just to maybe give some just a little bit more realism okay because you're gonna see this is gonna be fun I, I want to make it look like it's through the window of the uh, airport looking out at the the uh, airstrip the tarmac if you will might be the ramp coming in from the, the cars that come into the airport. Just trying to picture different things. All right, now I just want to do a, a, a series of like vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal lines. Just broad brush strokes. Make it straight, let it, let it pop into straight. 
So that's a digital trick. You can uh, get your get your iPad to give you a straight line. Okay. There we go. Just little different things here, just to give it some depth. Let me make some straight lines there. It's not really clear what any of this is. It's just stuff that you see through the window that you don't really identify as much. And uh, a few darker areas down here close to the bottom. Make it really big so I don't gotta work too long on it. Okay. And what I wanna do is I wanna make it like there's a Maybe light at the end of the tunnel, sort of a look. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Okay. Little tiny lines. You see that? It looks sort of like an airport or a tarmac. Maybe you have to use your imagination a lot. Okay, now let's um, go ahead and add some airplanes to that. So we got a blue tail, a dark blue. And this just has to be a little bit more detailed, I guess. So I'll put the tail a little darker than that. Darker and less saturated. Just scrub that in there. Okay. Now let's get some, uh, I guess, some white as far as I can. We'll get the airplane, the fuselage of the airplane. There we go. And it's just parked there, it's just waiting the okay from flight traffic controllers to say yes we can go okay get that white in there another symbol that's one of the airlines that has something like that on the back I'm not sure what it is Okay, now let's get some of this dark for the windows. Lots of windows. You know what I could do for the windows? Let me show you a better idea. Do this. All the windows. See that? Just do all the windows like that. And then you get the white. And you separate them. Yeah. It's all those windows. That's the easy way to do windows, isn't it? They're, that way they're all on a line, straight line. Okay. Put a couple other dark lines on it to make it look more like an airline. some dark here to put a shadow again remember I'm gonna I'm gonna blur this all out so I don't want to make it perfect I don't want to take the time to make it perfect okay here we go now let's get some of the dark for the engine maybe maybe this is Something here, something here. There we go. And 
of course the wheels have to be there somewhere. It was raining, so we want to make sure we put the reflections in there too. Okay. And we'll fix the parts that are not perfect. Let's get the color of this. There we go. Right, let's get some of those reflections in the shadows. So all we're doing is trying to create this illusion that you're at the airport. Because the real thing I want to do, I haven't told you yet. The real thing I want to do, I guess I can tell you now. I want to do the window. The window that you're looking through. That's interesting to me. The window. Let me fix this a little bit. Um, those uh, the walkways that they they put in there so you can get to the airplane. So let me put one of them in there. Right here, it's usually very close to the to the window. That's why I wasn't so worried about the the, air, the back of the airplane being perfect because I knew I was going to put this in the way. So that's that that boarding ramp. That extends out to it, you see. It's not attached to it in this case, but that's that thing.
double the whole thing and make it a little bit richer. There we go. Put the two together. All right, now what I want to do is I want to take the, the sky and I want to create like this illusion of, uh, of it being uh, like a sunset or something. So I'm going to give a separate layer and I'm going to go for the oranges now. I want to put some of those oranges and I'm going to do a separate layer just in case I mess it up really bad. So, so here we go. I'm painting in the sky now with an orange hue like the sun is just coming up or maybe going down or something but you've been waiting at the airport for your, your flight and it's delayed because of the hurricane and you probably slept the whole night at the airport have you ever done that yeah i've done that i've slept the whole night at the airport let's get a little bit more red in there Some bigger, bigger brush strokes here. Okay. Yeah, so the sky is now looking more of an orangish. I'll, I'll explain why I wanted to do that in uh, just a minute. <clears throat> give, give me a little time here. To put this all together because like i said i want to um i want to create the illusion that you're looking through the window of the airplane so that sky would be reflecting into the, the ground some darker darker tones maybe maybe a little bit of blue for the sky some dark blue yeah oh yeah that's looking good oh yeah now I'm like I wasn't sure what I wanted to do just using very very broad very broad brush strokes and, and kind of winging it. I don't necessarily have it all thought out in my mind. Let's give a little bit of that yellow, that orange, that orange glow on everything. It's dark down here too. for the blue. Oh yeah, I like that. A little hint of blue here and there. Very good. Okay. There's a reason for doing this. Okay. Now let's put a... Um, let's do this... Um, I need to put some of those background buildings back in there. So let's just do that a little bit. A little bit, they disappeared a little bit. They don't have to be exactly like they were. Just a little, little hints of, of buildings and vertical lines, horizontal lines, things that make up things in the distance that aren't really easy to identify. All right, let's go back to uh, the oranges again. Let's 
so this white back in here. Okay. Almost there, because really this is not the subject. This is just all the background. thing these two pieces and put them together and then let's double that see what happens not a whole lot but I want to put them together anyway now I want to take the the curves thing and let's take that gamma let's make it darker yeah we got it looking darker maybe add a little bit more red to it just, just a hint and see what happens with the blue green. I guess we can leave it like that. Maybe a little more red. The gamma. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I see. You see what I did? I darkened the whole thing. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. Um, let's see what I want to do. Oh, I want to add a, a, a the multiply layer. So there's the multiply layer. Let's add that to it. Let's make the whole thing a lot darker. Let's cover the whole thing. That's a little too dark. That's a little too dark. Let's make it a little less dark than that. Hmm. That looks like it might work. Now what I want to do is erase I'm going to use the airbrush eraser. Use the soft one. And what I want to do with that is keep the very opacity down and the, the size really big. Because I want to make this sky bright. I want, to, I want the sky to be shining through. Because that's the bright part right there. You need help? No. You okay? I was grabbing the floor. I hear that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Now what we want to do, a little bit of reflecting things going on here. I know. All right, now on top of that, another layer. I'm going to add to this bright, bright spots, and I'm going to use, uh, I might as well use the airbrush for this too, so you see these are going to be lights in the background, okay, and then that light is going to be reflecting in the, in the um, tarmac in the, in the runway, so put these big bright lights. It's also reflecting off of the surface of the airplane. Okay. And maybe there's another one over here somewhere. I'm going to hit some of this. Some of the surface of the this thing. Let's put one more over here. Just because I like the way it looks reflecting in the airplane. So. Okay. So there's the uh, background. This is all the background. Now, what we want to do is we want to do the window in the f in the foreground. And this is the fun part. So we're going to make another layer, and what we want to do is we want to put water drops on it because it's been raining outside. OK, 
Okay, so let's take a, a lighter color first of all, and and let's go ahead and use uh, the gouache again. Oh, there it is, the gouache. Okay, I guess I was using gouache all along. Okay, so let's just put some. This is a separate layer. Don't forget. Okay, so now we're on some glass. Okay, so that's a little bit too, too dark. Okay, so there's some water. These are all going to be water drops. There's some water. There's some water. I have some dripping down. Dripping down. So the whole idea here is to put lots of water drops on here. And a few drops. Okay. I'm going to have to touch each one of these up so that they look like water. Because right now all they look like is white dots. Okay. Now the, the, the water that's on the window will be reflecting what's going on through the window. I'm going to show you how you do that in a second. First, we're just going to put these water drops on here. Just put them all over the place. I'm going to make them round, but not, you know, just circular, but not perfectly round. There might be a few perfectly round ones. So what you do is on the on the top ones, they're going to have more of this blue and orange in them. And the bottom ones are going to have more of the dark colors because they're reflecting the light that gets coming through. So let's um, take the color, the main color we got. And first, let's make it darker on the bottoms and the tops. Okay, so here we go. Make this smaller. That's a little too small. Okay. These little like reflections or shadows on the water drops. Oh, that one wasn't one. That was. <laughs> oh, those two are lights. Let's not. Let's not do those two. Those two are not drops. Okay. <laughs> Put it in the wrong place. Got to remember what the lights are. Okay. color here this will sample it it will make it lighter right there we want to put that in there into the middle of the the driplets the droplets
to other dots. Are, they don't all have to have the same look. We can have some just simple dots that look like water. Okay, now let's um, add some of that blue to it. some of the color that's behind it. Now let's take that background that we did. Um, okay, I made a mistake. That's that's a light, and that's a reflection of light, right? Okay, let's make sure I didn't make those into. I think that looks good. Okay, and now. That's the that's the layer, and these are the lights in the background. Those that's what happens when I add this uh, this layer down. Okay, I guess that's. I guess that's what that is. I'm a little bit confused what that is. Okay, now let's take that and duplicate it just in case I mess, it, mess up. Let's turn one of them off. And now let's blur using the Gaussian blur. Let's blur that background. See? See how it gets a little bit blurry? So now the airplane and the all the stuff in the that we first painted is now blurry, and the, the the window is in focus, and we can work on that now, make it look better. So let's just work on that. Um, so that's up here. I made one, two, three, four. Can I add another layer? Yeah, I can add another layer. Okay, good. Because what I want to do is I want to add some more darks to some of these upper parts. Okay, like that. Okay. Add some blues to that. Now let's look at some of these um, little drops. Let's go ahead and copy some of them if I can. Let's take, take this section right here. Okay, I'll copy those. I'm going to copy and paste it. Now we have a new layer right there, and I can move that around. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to. I was on the wrong one. Sorry. I went, okay, this is what I want to do right here. So let's try that again. 
I'm going to put a circle or a lasso around as many of these drops as I can, but I don't want to get that streak. See, I'm trying to avoid the streak. There, now copy and paste. Was that, did that work? No, that didn't work. You know why? Because I have too many layers here, so I gotta get rid of one of them. All right, so let's put those two down together. Okay, those are the drops. Now let's copy it. Do it again. Copy all these. Here we go. Now copy and paste. Now we should have a layer back here. That we can move around. There we go. Now we can add more drops. So what I'll do is I'll flip it over and I'll shrink it so it's a little bit smaller. And I'll just drop it in there. Now there's, now there's more drops, you see? And now we can do the same thing. I don't know if I, it let me double it. Oh, it did. Okay, so now I can do that again. And move that, let's say, down here. Okay. And then let's make those two a single layer. And let's duplicate that. And um, flip it over. There we go. And now let's duplicate, let's uh, merge those two together. And finally, let's duplicate that. Let's see what if we like it. We can flip it this way. And we can make some of that smaller too. There we go. <laughs> and now I think it's a little maybe too dark or too bright so let's see I want to connect all that together and then all that together here we go and let's make it a little less a little more translucent and a little darker Get a little darker and then I think the real key here now to make it look like real water drops is to take a very light tone very small and let's just add some reflecting areas to these What do you think? Does that look like you're looking out of a window at the airport waiting for your airplane to take off and you are just so frustrated by the fact that you have to wait so long? Hmm, what do you think? It's kind of a silly illustration, right? Let me see if I can... that one okay so this one has 
Okay, I made a mistake. See, some of these reflections on the on the airplane shouldn't be shadowed because they don't they're not part of the water. There we go. Yeah, we could randomly erase some of them. I think I might have not done too many of them. Yeah. So now you're looking at the airplane waiting for it to take off and um, all you really can see is that water droplet covered window <laughs> all right that's it I just wanted to show you how I would do that you could probably do it better if you took more time with it but that's the whole story kids all right thanks for watching <laughs>